everyone, it's me again and welcome to Faith's Faces. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Faith Grenade and I put makeup videos here on YouTube. And you should subscribe and hit that little bell icon down below. It'll notify you every time I upload so you don't miss a minute of this riveting action. Got some exciting stuff for this week. What you've stumbled across is Faith's Faces, which is usually a get ready with me or a makeup tutorial like we've got going on today. I... I love this look. <laughs> it looks pretty similar to some looks I've done in the past, but it's got that little spark of interest that just keeps me looking at it. And I love it even more because it's using a brand spanking new Visart eyeshadow palette. Not but a few days ago on Beautylish, uh, Visart released the Trist palette. So this is sort of meant to be the more pinky, peachy, mauve sister to the Golden Hour palette. I'm going to show you guys both of them so you can see uh, what I mean by that. So this is Golden Hour. This is the new Visart Trist palette. You can see they're completely different. Golden Hour is a lot more on the warm side, whereas Trist is a lot more pinky, purpley, rosy toned. But you can see the palettes are the same size. They're in the same packaging. It's just the Golden Hour has a gold lid and the Trist palette has a rose gold lid. There you go. There are the colors, absolutely stunning array of colors. It's really that perfect kind of sunset palette with all of these peaches and pinks and pale golds and that shot of purple in the bottom. Uh, this one does only have I would say three matte shades. Um, one of the matte shades does have a little bit of sparkle in it, but it performs matte on the eyes. Um, three mattes, one, two, three, four, five, six shimmers. This is absolutely stunning. It's beautiful. I adore it just like I adore the Golden Hour palette. I will say the Golden Hour palette is probably just a hair, a hair more versatile than this one is. The Trist palette really is meant for that rose gold peachy lover in your life. You're, you can create a variety of looks with this, but they're all going to be in, in the same relative color family. And both of these palettes perform just as well, just as beautifully as the 12 pan palettes. So basically, spoiler alert, I love them. And these two little palettes, they retail for $49 each. And this is actually a really great way to introduce yourself to the Visart eyeshadow because their 12 pan palettes are $80. They're not cheap. I know that. But these are $49 and you get nine shades a piece. So it's a great way to sort of test out Visart, play around with them if you haven't used them yet which I will warn you though, these are a gateway drug. You're going to want every eyeshadow Visart has ever made because they are the Cadillac of eyeshadow. They're one of the best eyeshadows on the planet. And if you want to know how to use them to create this peachy, burgundy, wonderful, tasty, delicious eye look, then just keep on watching, baby. Oh guys, it's actually not raining. This is crazy. It's been impossible to film because it's literally been raining for like the last two and a half days straight. Are you guys digging this like close up action? Because I don't want to get too close. I don't want to get too close for comfort, but I do want you guys to be able to see what I do. And I'm going to take my Sonia Kashuk little marble blending brush. And I'm going to take the shade Liaison, which is this peachy color take that and we're gonna pop it in the crease that's our transition shade so you guessed it, it's going right up here and it's gonna help us blend everything out later this is a beautiful shade very pigmented very blendable okay so now we're gonna get deep and dark we're gonna take illicit which is this burgundy color it's absolutely fucking perfect it does have little sparkles kind of strewn throughout it, but it really does play matte on the eyes. And I'm using a Real Techniques brow highlighting brush, um, which I'm so not using for brow highlight. It's just like this little angled but flat uh, packing brush. And I'm just going to use this to build that color up on the outer third of the eye-ish. Yeah. 
And these Visart shadows, you guys have heard me talk about these. The blend on these is absolutely insane. Like, I could do a patchy as hell application and run a blending brush over it and it just diffuses and spreads so easily. I've been on job search, hardcore, really trying to find the right fit. Um, I tried with Ulta, but they wanted me at the brow bar, which just isn't the right fit for me. You know, can I do brow waxing? Yeah. Am I willing to do it, you know, part-time for a year? No. <laughs> and you gotta be picky, you know, even, even though I am feeling the pressure to find work, it's important for me to find the right fit that I'm gonna stay with for the long term, if that makes any sense. So, now for the lid. The lid, the lid, the lid. I'm so excited about this. Uh, I am going to take Darling, which is this shade right in the middle. It's a beautiful, true metallic peach color with a gold duochrome. And I'm just gonna put that on the inner part of the lid. Oh my God, oh my God, it's so pretty. And then just because I wanna use as many shades in this palette as possible, I'm gonna take Paramour. Uh, on the opposite side of the same brush, this deep, dark, sort of shimmery, uh, berry color. And I'm going to put that between the matte burgundy and the peach shade, just to assist in a smooth transition. So now for the lower lash line, we're going to jump to that for a little bit. I'm going to take Illicit, which is our burgundy shade on the same brow highlighter brush. And look how good this is for this. You just take that angled bit and run it along the lower lash line. Boom, impact, bam, so easy, good. And then I'm gonna take my uh, lid brush, which is the Real Techniques shading brush, go figure. I'm gonna take a little bit of this peachy darling color, which is the perfect name for that shade because it is just darling. And I'm gonna put it on the lower lash line here Assuming you guys can see what I'm doing. And it's gonna kind of mix with that other berry color. And it's gonna blend that really, really easily and really smoothly. Okay, and then um, if you'd like to, you can go into that Paramore color and just sort of run that between the two just to get a smooth blend matching up with the upper lid. Nothing out of the ordinary there, folks. Just business as usual. And then I'm gonna take that same lid brush and I'm gonna dip into Rendezvous, uh, which is this kind of champagne-y pink color up at the top here. And I'm just gonna punch that into the inner corner. This is so bright and so flashy. It's a very brightening color, very awakening. Normally would I wear an eye look this smoky to a job interview? Nope but this isn't really a job interview. It's just me filling out an application. So it's sort of like, I feel like I want to showcase my skills and showcase my blending ability and just be like, hi, do you see this smoky eye? Do you see all this rosy peachy goodness? Hire me, damn it. And then I am going to take Dangerous, Dangerous, this color right here, which is the only other matte in the palette. And we're going to run that up along the brow bone. Just give it a little highlight, a little pop, a little like, hey, how you doing? And then on the lower lash line, I'm going to go back in with this smaller crease brush, kind of dust off any of the excess product, and we're going to tap it into our peachy shade Liaison. And I am going to use that to blend out this darker shade. I'm going to put the Trist palette down for a moment. Uh, and we are going to do some liner lashes and mascara. I'm trying to limit the liner today because I want to look very wide awake and alive and we've got a lot of darkness going on already so I don't really feel the need to add any more liner. For lashes, I got this which is the Sephora House of Lashes Lash Story Pro Edition Lash Book. Um, this has a bunch of House of Lashes eyelashes in it along with a space to hold your own lashes and two glues. This was on sale for $100, which considering these lashes range in price from $12 to $14 each, that's a pretty good deal. Um, so I went ahead and grabbed it. Now these lashes, 
These false lashes, their band is thick, so they can be a little bit tough to work with. I wore the Iconics uh, recently, and I found that they were a little bit tough to apply just because the band is very thick and it's very stiff. So it was a little bit tough initially to kind of get it on there um, and get it going. But there are a few styles in here that I really like. I don't know which ones I'm gonna use today. Cosmetic Superhero Mascara, as always. I'm actually doing mascara on the upper and lower lashes today, which I normally don't do, but I really wanna put this mascara to the test and see if it can hold up to that. Um, because normally if I try to put mascara on my lower lashes, it transfers almost immediately and I just can't do it. But this one's been doing really well. So we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna do all of that and then uh, do up my complexion. I actually might film a video about my complexion because I've been tightening up my complexion game lately and I will be back to do some lips for you guys. Okay guys, uh, complexion is done. Liner and lashes and such are done. I did end up using the House of Lashes Femme Fatale Lash. Uh, which I ended up trimming a little bit off of the larger end and then tacking it onto itself for some sizing purposes. I'll be real, you guys. These lashes are beautiful. They're big, they're full, they're dramatic, they're fluffy. But um, these lashes are a pain in the ass to put on. But some of these bands are like plywood. They refuse to bend and that can make it really difficult to uh, put them on, but we managed. I think we're good. I don't look like I have some kind of, you know, degenerative eyeball disease. I do like them. They're fluffy. They're the exact shape I was looking for. It's just they're a pain in the neck to get on. Uh, for the Complexione, you're gonna see a lot of familiar faces. I bronzed with the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer in the shade Bronzer. And then for blush, I used one of the Kiko Baked Blushes from the Arctic Holiday Collection. This is Dreaming Coral, number two. Absolutely stunning blush. Went ham sandwich on the blush today, just to match with peachiness in the eyes, and it just looked so good I couldn't help myself. So for highlight, I did stack two highlights because you girls feeling a little extra today. Uh, I stacked the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in Champagne Dream Flashes Bellini, that little peachy blush topper, and then of course the Ball Mary Lou, as if there was anyone else, just on the very tippy tops of the cheekbones, just for that extra kind of pow. I set everything with a mixture of the MAC Fix Plus fixing spray and the PPI Blue Marble Makeup Sealer Spray, which I absolutely love because it's an effective setting spray that doesn't have alcohol in it. So now let's talk lips. Uh, uh, you could really go a bunch of different directions here to be totally honest. Um, what I think I am going to use is the Sephora Hashtag Lip Stories cream lipstick in the shade Wanderlust. This is one of my favorite colors that I have from the collection. It's a true deep burgundy and it's absolutely stunning. And I can wear it without needing a lip liner. So I think I'm gonna do that and I'll be back to show you guys the finished look. Damn, it feels good to rock a dark lip again. There you go, guys. This is the finished look. I am in love with how this came out. I love the way the lip kind of complements the eyes. Everything flows together really well. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with it. This Wanderlust shade, the bullet, because <laughs> I've used it a few times, the bullet has sort of rounded itself, so it was tougher to get a sharp line, so I did incorporate a lip brush from Smashbox just to get that clean, sharp edge. Without further ado, the thing I always forget to do, let's do some awkward posing. Awkward posing. Looking down. Looking forward. Looking fierce. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful, informative, or entertaining. If you did, there's a button for that. Spank that like button in the butt. You know it deserves it. And if you want to see more from me, got a couple options now. You can click the videos on either side of my head to binge if you're bored or bummed out, or hey, you can hit that button that looks like my face and subscribe and become a member of the faithful today. Put out new videos every Sunday. And if you really love me and want to toss me a little coin, I got a Patreon link down below. Really appreciate your support. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and joining me today. And I will see you in the next video. Toodles!